Good afternoon. First of all, thank you to everyone for coming over this afternoon. Uh, the members of the media are here, but we, we requested them that after the opening statement and before the briefing happens, um, they will step up. And um, Director General uh, Makina and myself will just give them a briefing after of what transpired during the meeting. But again, thank you all for coming. I would like to believe that despite our differences, iisa lang naman yung hangarin natin. At ang hangarin natin, maging matagumpay yung kampanya lamang sa ilegal na droga. And when we said that, we would like to believe that uh, people expect us to go beyond the differences and for us to work together. Kasi sa, pag sa pagkakaisa, nandun naman yung mas madaling makamta natin yung ating minihiki na uh, tagumpay sa ating kampanya lamang sa droga. But, but before, before we proceed, proceed, let me just give you um, my own context of, of everything. Number one, I believe that drug addiction is a serious problem that our country is facing. Number two, I am all for a strong national policy against um, illegal drugs. And I am all for a vigorous anti-drug campaign. Pero having said that, I also feel that we should do things right. Everything that we're doing should be within the bounds of the rule of law. Pangatlo, I do not see this as a problem of crime only. Ang kalaban po natin dito, hindi yung mga babayan natin. Ang kalaban natin dito, droga. Dahil ang kalaban natin, droga, we should also look at it not just using the lens of crimes or criminal justice, but also using the lens of health and the fact that addiction is a medical and a sociological problem. Number four, I am all for evidence-based strategy and approach. Kaya ako nag-usap kami ni General Aquino earlier. Sabi ko this afternoon will just be a listening exercise for me. Um, the reason why I requested for this meeting with you is gusto mong alam kung saan ako, gusto mong malaman kung saan ako nagsisimula. Gusto mong malaman yung datos. Kasi um, before today, I did not have access naman to the kind of data that you had access to. So, yung may yung hapon, maraming tanong, pero yung request ko kay General Aquino is for, for all the clusters to brief me on what has transpired um, during the course of the three years. Hindi pa naman pala three years. Kasi ICAD was established in 20, 2017. Or 2017. So a little over two years. Um, in the past one one and a half days, I have been reading um, all the documents that um, are connected with what I can has been doing. And nagpapasalamat po ako sa lahat na efforts na itinuhos ng lahat, lahat sa inyo para makamutan yung, yung ating, ating gusto makamutan. Just today, I was informed that we've had um, several successes. Uh, just today, we've had several successes. We were able to recover um, 1.4 million worth of marijuana here in Quezon City. We were able to recover 9 million worth of shabu in Cebu. We were able to recover 6 kilos of shabu at the um, Pinoy ang Pinoy International Airport. So sa lahat po natin, law enforcement agencies, maraming salamat at congratulations. Um, I have always been very vocal about my stand. Uh, narinig nyo naman siguro yung, yung, yung stand ko about everything. The President has on various occasions expressed frustration um, on the war on drugs. In fact, I think it was in February of this year, 
where we disclosed that the number of drug dependents had, had already reset to 7 to 8 million um, drug dependents. So you sat them down. Um, that means that number is staggering. That number is staggering. And you sat them down, just to make sure that they are not going to Saan tayo nagkukulang? Kasi a lot of the agencies have been pouring out a tremendous efforts and resources already for this for, for this campaign. And yet, ganun pa din nataas yung numero. So yun yung gusto kong maintindihan ngayon. Um, kaya parati kong sinasabi, why don't we reassess? Kasi I, I know na, na marami na tayong gains na natanggap. I know na marami na mga accomplishments. Pero siguro everyone will also agree with me that despite the many, many gains and accomplishments, marami pa rin tayo kailangan gawin. And siguro today is, is a, an opportunity for all of us to take stock of ano ba yung mga magbubuting ginagawa, para yung magbubuting ginagawa o yung mga effective na ginagawa, ipagpapatuloy na gagawin. Pero ano yung mga ginagawa na hindi nagbibigay sa atin ng mga desired results? Baka yun yung pag-isipan natin. I've always been very vocal about my opposition against the killings that accompanied Operation Tokham. Yung sa akin, yung pagkakatok, pag-search, pag, pag okay yun. Pero because of the many senseless killings that accompanied Operation Tokham, parang naka-reach naka, naka siya ng certain level of uh, notoriety na pag sinabi ko, it is a war against the poor. I think it is upon us, it is an incumbent upon us na mabago yung, mabago yung kaisipan na yun. Baka panahon na para pag-isipan natin yung pagpalit ng isang kampanya na mas epektibo pero walang namamatay senselessly. Naniniwala ako na sa lahat na police operations, anything can happen. Pero yung yung kinukontra natin, yung pinagpaplanuhan at pagpapatay ng mga walang kamuhang-muhang. Ngayon sa akin, yun yung aking position about it. I feel so strongly about it. And I want to take this opportunity to contribute in whatever way I can. When the President appointed me as co-chair of PILIA in ICAD, I want to look at it as a signal that the President is open to listen to a fresh perspective about um, the entire campaign. I also want to look at it as an, as an agreement that it is time for us to objectively assess um, what we have been doing over the past years. Pero having said that, ayoko tawaran yung lahat na pinagalagawa ng lahat na ayan siya. Kasi I know for a fact na sobra-sobra yung pinubukos. Um, Secretary Ano is here. I know that DILG has been in the forefront of really activating all the local government units. I have talked to so many local government units and they have been actively um, actively helping in the campaign against the drug. And that is, that is very commendable. Um, everyone else has been contributing to this. Pero yung sa akin, pag nakakarot kasi ng mga census killings, na didiminish yung mga pagod na ibinubuhus natin dito. So yung sa akin, um, that's where I stand now. But as I've said, um, we still have many days ahead of us. But this afternoon is really um, a listening exercise for me. So nagpapasalamat ako ngayon pa man. Nagpapasalamat ako, syempre, to the General Latino and all the other members of ICAD, um, all the cabinet secretaries who are present, all the other secretaries, and all the others who are representing the different agencies uh, for giving me this opportunity. Maraming salamat.